Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, the Ice Queen. She's sitting there chilling out, dealing with business. Uh, we're doing okay. We did have a minor car accident. Well, she's like, why are you telling people that? They don't know who we are. So anyway, um, organized phase. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but there are a couple of decisions I'm making that I'd like to explain or at least walk through with you so you understand why. I might appear to be acting like a fool, or maybe you already see where I'm going to go with it. And uh, the first of those decisions... Not wrong, I mean, there's two big decisions I have to make. About room cap, what's available, and what monsters I have. First is this guy. He's level 10. He can be promoted. And there's clearly other stuff that I could promote with this army. And I have 5, 10, 15 space, right? You can do the math. That's just what it is. Now, there's more coming as characters level up, so I can save that space. But right now, this guy is just a dead, you know, asset. It's there, it's great if I have to defend, but it's just not offensive. If I swap him to a stone golem, he moves a little better, and he gets a ranged attack with a range of two, so he can attack from the second row. So even if he can't make it onto the front lines, he's still a good defensive option that can do something to a melee enemy. Which is a huge asset. And again, I could save this rune cap area up, and then when it comes time to advance Quattles and Salamanders, I have it. But that's 12 levels from now. I'm not sure the game's even going to go that long, and I'd like to just wrap it as soon as I can. So, I'm going to switch... always acts first, he actually sort of gets an extra turn if I'm initiating melee combat. So we're going to give it this and This only costs 10, so it's a really important upgrade. It's cheap, it's easy, it's fun. All the things are in alignment. Where else did I have to look at this stuff? Yeah, there's like one army where I have 15 spare room cap and I'm doing nothing with it. Like, there's nothing to upgrade. I think it's, uh, somewhere. This is a terrible little army. It's a fairy problem, I know that. Ah, okay, so... I have 15 plus 10 with Salil, and he's gonna keep leveling up. So he's someone I could put units with. But I can... Esmeri's not going to level too easily. Sklados is 29, so he's almost maxed. He might get another 5 if he rolls well. Otherwise, he's capped at like 238 or something. So he can only ever fit 10 more in, which is a problem. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to rearrange stuff later, too. But with 25 change... Um, excuse us. 25 change, that's a good thing because it enables... Yeah, hold on. Yeah, we just got a phone call. Because of course we did. This is my time to chill out and stress before I have to go teach, like, three hours of swim lessons. So that'll be fun. Uh, Pixie, level 10, 134 experience, versus another Pixie that has a little bit more experience. It's literally a difference of less than 100, but that's the difference on, like, a single cast, right? So this one's ahead. I can upgrade it now, and it gives Esmeri the same turn option to cast uh, React on herself, Advance, and then Geno Flame, or Geno Frost, rather, and even Holy Word, because she has that as well, can't forget. 
think the only thing she doesn't have is area heal. She has area heal. She can move, she can rush through. If we somehow found ourselves really in trouble, she can just run in and pop area heals. Like, that's a huge advantage. I realize that I'm leaving a an Archangel on the table right now. Because holy crap, that holy word. An extra holy word is an extra AoE DPS. Like, that's pretty good. It's not that effective unless it's used against evil creatures, but that's okay. Like, Excalibur's got a lot of that. It's got evil leaders. Like, it's a huge asset. It's just not what I need right now where I need it. But if I get 20 more rune cap, maybe then it's what I need. And Soliel's gonna keep leveling up. I can swap stuff around later. So, sorry, Zorosil. You know I love you, and you're my next level up. But. Anyway, let's check the map real quick. We haven't done that. It's episode 51, by the way, in case I forget. I forgot to mention that. So, Amiki needs to be taken out. We can kill them in one turn. Push forward with both armies so I have the option to go 1, 2. This can just plane. Gonna need a defensive squad for here. You guys. And I think you're the army that has that 15 rune cap just sort of sitting around. No, you're not. Hmm? No, well. Feel you need Ivan. Your job's to go down to... Actually, is there any chance that I can even get it? Sounds very good. I just created a new system for me. Two, three, four, five, six squads. Six squads, all accounted for. We're gonna go. Let's look the location one more time. Why do only two people pop past? And there's the third one. Light save. Just as a hey, at least I finished organized. Doesn't matter. Ooh, memory card. Not. Nah. Just a weird way to do things. Uh, somehow hitting the home button on my controller is making my audio louder. So that's cool. Also, apparently I have the home button down on this thing. Uh, since we just did it last, you know, weekend, I'm sure you you don't know this, but for me, last weekend was when uh, Brassing and Trigger and I had our final multiplayer showdown in our campaign, and I managed to win. So, good game to him. He was close. I think he could have taken it. I really think uh, if he had pushed, he would have won. Speaking of, what are we attacking? Three leaders, 12 creatures. That's dangerous. That's dangerous, and that's not dangerous. Well, imp could be a problem. Meanwhile, Drist is going to be defending. He's going to be never mind. His people are going to be defending. It's Camden and also crap. They're actually a good fight. Kai is going to have Kai, Isipus, and Buart. That'll be a rumble. Amekia can't attack this way. Mel and all of them are gonna hit here. This is not my best army. Far from it, in fact. Irvine's pretty good. Where am I facing? Nope. It's gonna take longer than I planned, but we're gonna do it right. There are no troops in Baden Hill.
And we invade Brusselande. All right. Story dialogue. Why did we have to meet Big Brother? Oh no, is he gonna leave? Try your sword, Caster. You would fight me? Is the family name really so important to you? We must separate in the hopes that one will serve the victor. The knight who fights for a losing country will be stripped of land and honor. I'm the eldest of House Rand. It's my duty to protect our family name. Forget duty for a second. What do you feel in your heart? If, if I walk away now, it would betray my lord. I must kill every enemy I see, even you and Legel. Stubborn fool. Fine, I'll fight you. But no matter who wins, it's going to hurt Legel. There's such a temptation to just auto this. Of course, the one land unit spawns, like, ways away. How can a flying dragon only get that far? I feel like I'm missing something here. That's an important thing to note. I got Gomez, a ninja, and a fairy. Like, two fairies. I'm really not worried about much. Miguel is definitively a level lower. Kato's job is to just sit in the back. Forests make for really good Mandrake traps, by the way. Just gonna say that in case the AI is listening. It's not. It's got three Mandrakes, though. Two Mandrakes. Is it two Mandrakes? Wow, that's weak. Honestly weak. I get from the grand strategy perspective why you have to go through so many steps, but from the map, the micro strategy, I feel like there's a second game here. There's definitely another game to be played where you don't have to march down. Blue's a good element, but I don't have that much of it. I have like two good blues. Three if you count rankiness. That would hurt this dude pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Plus the fire and holy for the demon that I'm sure I'll get melee on. I don't know, it's tempting.
feel like the healer for the entire side of that army, by the way. Just staying. For the record. It's so much aerial power, it's not even funny. Still not waking up. I might wake the enemy up with this, by the way. Just saying. Talk my man's in. Let's see what they do. Here they come. They've made a decision. That's painful. That's especially annoying. That's stupid. Gretsch did not. Let me just take that. 212? Cool. Have fun with that. See what he does. Lots of misses today. All right, fine by me. Harden, that's a good idea. Arya, definitely a good idea. She's positioned right flank. That dragon is going to hurt some people. I promise you that. So aside from him... He might come up here and engage. No block and kick out. What I'd like to do is react, kick out, and breath up this line at all four targets, but that might not happen. If he blocks in flank, that's the thing. Basically, I have one react with each team. Do I want to use them? Who do I want to use them on? Yeah, Breath is perfect, but you don't. Which is sort of why they did this. So. Harden this turn instead of 
nuke. She's going back into sort of dangerous area. We'll do 225, I doubt it, but maybe. 156, still stunned. He's like, oh crap! Told you they'd go there. Ah, oh, you jerk. Well, that wore off. <sighs> Not supposed to happen that way. Got this bad flag kill. One oh two, tango down. Thank you for the life. Dragon double breath probably kills both of these. Start by dealing some damage. I think this will be enough to kill it. 229. Tango down. Thanks for the food. Good job, Freeze. I double Geno, but I can range four with Geno Thunder. Iron Genus, time to level up. Plus 100 HP, and I'm feeling very defensive. With a spear throw that's blue and black around, like, nah, I'm not playing with that. Too much potential for burst DPS. Think there's that frost. If you spent one of your two turns to react this, three come up here, blast this. These are all valid potential kill targets. I should just halo him, to be honest. This guy gets a go. He can soften this up some more. I should get that. 
So I passed the react on. Hey, honey. Please don't paralyze me. What's up, boy? That's a boy. Well, I mean, you know. I prefer not to have my dragon be get paralyzed by a little level 1 flower monster. That would be unpleasant. Because it would mean I couldn't just throw a bunch of dragon fire on it, kind of like, uh, Dracarys. But that's not a fair fight, dragon fire against a kind of flower. Well, the flower can paralyze. And if it paralyzes, oh man, is there a problem. One, two, three maybe kills? Put some damage on a few other guys. This could be fun. Should have definitely haloed him. <laughs> 122, less than ideal. Yes! One down. Two down. Poison Fang looted. Hey, my dude, what's up? It's time for me to take an axe to you. Three down, one turn. Alright, Ari, what you gonna do? You're gonna surround my mandrake, that's fine. You missed. Clap. Bad, Ari. Run away! Why would you venom, Kator? Could have cursed the lizard guard, meleeed the lizard guard. Cursed the lizard guard again. Maybe kill the lizard guard. Y'all suck. Gank the demon. Have a react save just for caster. About to go mess his brother up badly. So you got a demon, I see. Shiv! 79, that's it. Damn, dude, you suck. Critical 206. You can still get a hit in. Please hit. That was pure laziness on my behalf. XP. What would that have changed? Well, at least my dragons can get another hit. Five hundred XP to a rune knight would have been pretty good. Not gonna lie, he still leveled up once, so he probably wouldn't have gotten a second level. But he'd still be five hundred XP ahead. So that's a mistake. I could have minimized that with better gameplay. And now for the Battle of Calamari. Where, uh... Gish, Mirambele need to just go in. And wreck face. Haley with the freaking red dragon. Bastards, I'll send you all to hell. Chariot of 100 Battles stands against you. Let's look at this real quick before we wrap this episode up. That advantage to making him a stone golem is immediately evident. That's beautiful. That's a squad. That's a unit right there, man. It's an absolute unit. A lot of red dragons. Where are my advantages going to come from? She can't even move where I want her. 
Damn. Minimal level 17 Ginny. Atlas? Who the hell are you? Alright, well, let's just quickly assess her ability. She's a lector. So she's got healing word. So AoE heals and AoE DPS are things to consider. She can be in the back row and be very effective. Haley! Brian Ack and Orn Helm. Game's not playing. And should level up mid fight at this rate. Heal and divine ray. Do I have anything particularly unholy? The demon needs to stay out of sight, out of mind. Oh god. Daphner. Half East Mandrake. Level 10 fire drake. That's Zeltox. So a lot of healing, a lot of damage. This is just a grueling... This is going to be fun. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode in this campaign, please hit the like, share, subscribe, follow buttons, whatever they happen to be. Uh, I really do appreciate all the support you guys give. As always, I'd like to give a shout out to the Brigandine Engine. Brigandine.enjin.com. And, of course, the Brigandine Discord. Links are all in the description on YouTube. So, feel free to check them out. And, as always, on this channel, La Paz.